All right, uh, proving identities problem number four. All right, so as we've talked about in the other videos, uh, take the more complicated look inside and see if you can simplify it to the other side. All right, so here we obviously will use the right hand side. So I'm going to use the one over one minus secant x plus one over one plus secant x. So here I think what we're going to need to do is get a common denominator and combine the two fractions. Alright, so let's get a common denominator. So that's 1 minus secant x times 1 plus secant x. Alright, and so we got a common denominator. So hopefully you remember how to add these fractions. Uh, just to review you, you can see this denominator here. I have a 1 minus secant. So what, I, what do I have to multiply to this to get my common denominator? A 1 plus secant. So 1 times 1 plus secant is 1 plus secant x. Same thing here. What do I multiply to this to get my common denominator? Well, that'd be 1 minus secant x. So 1 minus secant x times the numerator is 1 minus secant x. And this is going to be 1 plus secant x plus 1 minus secant x over. And I'm going to go ahead and multiply these out. So if I fold this, that's going to be 1. And then secant x minus secant x is 0. And then negative secant x times secant x is minus secant squared x. All right, so now you can see the secant x cancels. And so that's going to leave me with 2 over. Now let's look at this, 1 minus secant squared x. Okay. Well, we've seen this in the other videos, in case you haven't watched them. Uh, we know 1 plus tangent squared is equal to secant squared. Okay. And if I subtract secant squared x to both sides, see that will give me my 1 minus secant squared. Then I'll also need to subtract tangent squared to both sides. So that leaves me with 1 minus secant squared x equals negative tangent squared x. And so the 1 minus secant squared I can replace with negative tangent squared. Alright, so it looks like we're getting there. See, I want to show that it equals negative 2 cotangent squared. Well, if I separate the 2 and the tangent squared, and let's go ahead and bring the negative out front, because hopefully you remember that negative a over b is the same thing as a over negative b, which is the same thing as negative a over b. It doesn't matter where we put the negative sign. Okay. All right. So that is going to give me negative 2 times 1 over tangent squared x. Well, that is equal to negative 2, and remember what we want, negative 2 cotangent squared. Well, 1 over tangent squared is cotangent squared x, and there's the left, the left hand side. All right, so hopefully this video helped. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, thanks.